You know, I feel like that fire is way too close to the to the little gas tank right there. I feel like at any moment this place could just Did they get pulled? Oh man. That sucks. Uh alright, we'll be back after this uh fucking massacre round one let's go but anyway i wasn't supposed to go here because my quest error is messed up because kings all don't know how to code their fucking game mm, yes. That'll be sick. That is yeah because apparently primordial trees don't get sick very often all right hey there guys godly seafood here back again with a new episode uh it's like 9 59 it's not even 10 a.m on a sunday i don't know why i'm up this early but yeah i'm gonna try and get this dungeon going this one if i remember correctly i just gotta worry about uh blading so let's see as far as deck setups blading is not going to be the most effective strategy and there's definitely going to be a need for heals uh these this might not actually be the best wand for it I might have to go with, like, this one. Just because this one, yeah, I get some blades, but I'm not going to use those. And protecting ourselves and then having an extra unicorn is pretty dope. Uh, definitely going to go for as many feints as I can. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll put in, like, three of those, four, maybe. Aside from that, I don't know that there's a whole lot I can really do in this fight other than just faint the fucking bosses up. And then try and keep us healed. So, have one of those. Two of those. One of those. It's about as good as I can make it. Uh, we can do one of those. Do I have anything shadow-wise? Nah. There's, there's not really anything I'd want to do. But let's go get the, the dialogue first, you know? Let's make sure the dialogue's on. Yep, perfect. Uh, let's see. What is this quest gonna look like i forget ooh nerbrick when i first planned to break into dragon sage hall and steal the firebrand orb i genuinely expected the dragon horns to muster a great defense instead they send you <laughs> why didn't you just take your drake and fucking fly away i mean the dragon spire is in ruins. Honestly, you could have like done a whole little cartoon thing where you just dug through the the side of the, the side of the wall right here and just done it incognito. The fact that you made your presence known was a bit of a misplay here. Hopefully, deciphering the orb will be a challenge at least. Well, let's get on with it then. I've got code cracking to do. Oh, all right. Yeah, I like the fact that he's like an undead draconian. Look at his eyes. His eyes are really neat. And there's his little fucking pet dragon. Look at this shit. That is a fucking chonky boy. And you got like one bookshelf, a brazier, some little. What, what is that? I guess that's dragon spire seats. Uh, that is the dra the orb that's just sitting in a fireplace, I think. Or that's the orb, and then that's just a fireplace that has an orb. Not terrible i don't know why they have wall spikes it's kind of weird anyway i am just going to kind of wait and see if we can actually get some people there's a death wanting to do this so yeah i'll unpause whenever we get here all right finally in the dungeon Oh, shit, that's right. Hold up. I'm supposed to have plagues. That's not good. Forgot about that. Uh, I guess I'll just have to settle for, like, some of those. Uh...
the fuck is that? Okay, that's something you can buy from a vendor. That's kind of a weird thing. Guess we're not playing support anymore. Um, no real point in blading, so. Boom, do that. Eh, maybe throw one of those out there. Some of those. One of those. And then just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. All right. Okay, never mind. Looks like I'm, I'm not hitting. I just changed my deck setup because nobody can figure out what the fuck's going on, and we've got one AFK piece of shit. It's gonna be great. If I can pull my bulwark first round, that would be fucking fantastic. No, don't. Mm, my god. This is so fucking annoying. You stupid motherfuckers. Alright, um. Ugh. Let's see, what are they doing? Probably get rid of that. Well, I think I think we'll be fast enough hitters, so. Just faint up this guy. I'm not going to need my blue faint because it's the same as mass faint. And then that person is going to come in like last or second to last round and fuck us over with the late cheat. Or they'll die themselves. I don't actually know how the late cheat works. I looked at this like five days ago. This right here is why you have will cast cleanse so you can cleanse him someone and then fucking faint up what is that it's a regular tc faint i already put that on him you dumb motherfucker in that case i'm gonna do this because we're about to get hit i don't think there's a cheat against shield so this should be fine This is why you have will cast cleanse. Gives you just so much more di like flexibility in a fight. Is that um Eba? What? How do you like this? I don't know what that triggers. Mmm. Okay. So, do that, get rid of that. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. That's also not what I wanted. It's also not what I wanted. Do I not have another cleanse? Fuck. Um. Does he have a potent? He does not. So far, this isn't going terrible. I just wish I could pull my other cleanse. I'm pretty sure I put like two in there, right? Maybe I didn't. Well, shit. What school is it? He's death, right? Yeah, so that shouldn't affect him too much. And he's gonna hit through, all right. All right, 
right, what does the first one have? First one doesn't have nothing valuable, so I'm going to faint and then try and cleanse him next round. Man, this would have been so much easier if I had just gone first. Or, like, just been able to run ahead of them. I didn't realize they were going to fucking start when I asked them, Hey, are you ready? Oh, that's perfect. Coming in clutch with bad decisions. Let's fucking go. I kind of wish Earthquake would only remove negatives, not everything. Like, get rid of additional shields it doesn't typically ruin, and then uh, get rid of, like, blades, but not debuffs. I don't know what he's saying sorry about, but, uh... I don't know, is he dual screening? Who's that? Oh. Yeah, I don't really know what's happening at this point. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake! Not really too many things I can do, so we just wait. Um, I want to make sure he like picks a card first. I'm not wasting a fucking will cast cleanse. Should have should have healed yourself. This is gonna hurt. Damn, 2,500? That's crazy. That could literally, like, one-shot a wizard who just has shit gear. Or a storm. Because they, they only get, like, 3,000 HP, right? Is that a blade? Questionable move. Questionable move. I just wasted that. I didn't really think he was going to do that, but I just wasted that. Alright, this is fine. Everything's fine. I'm about to be able to heal us. They don't have debuffs. Is that a unicorn? Let's go. May cast unicorn into Pigsy into a useless will cast cleanse that I can no longer use or no longer have if we need it and a legion shield nice this pet's fucking going we should be relatively close to full health so that's good. Most of us. Maybe not that last person. I I literally casted four spells. Two may cast, one will cast, and a fucking heal. This is great. Wasted. Please don't be a debuff, my good sir. Nice. Okay, yeah, there's, there's not really much I can do here other than look to faint up the boss again if he survives. He's got that minus 50. What, uh, what does Wolf have? 
much pierce do you have, my man? 39! Let's go. Yeah, the boss should definitely be dead. Alright. The only way this doesn't work is if we just barely manage to not kill. But I mean... Three, four faints? We should be good. Wait, how much health did the boss have? Oh, I guess he like technically or slightly survived. That's fine. That's what the extra faint was for. Let's see. Do I even have a reshuffle? I might have gotten rid of it. I don't want to... I don't want to say anything. Oh, wait, I still have it. Just change that. So far, so good. This, uh... Took us forever to fucking hit. But so far, so good. Oh, nice. He's got three faints. He's definitely dead whenever he hits. I can cleanse that off next round. And that will be my final will cast cleanse because I have nothing else. And then I'll probably just pop a fucking heal aura and just throw out some unicorns. Because we are like, we're alive. We're not almost dead anymore. He's fainted up. He's got like no negatives on him after this. He's reshuffled. Hell, he could hit next round and just fucking kill. If he gets lucky with his pulls. You know, I like the fact that he's wearing something unique for Mirage. Nobody ever really seems to wear stuff from Mirage. There's that. This might be a waste of like a couple seconds, but might as well, right? got a little snake banner on there. That's cool. I didn't see that earlier. We win. All right. Now, do I get the hat? Because I don't think I'll be farming this, but if I can ju just get the really cool dragon skull hat, that would be great. Dude, don't even worry about it. We're a good enough team without you. Ooh, maybe. I don't need this headache. There's probably no information worth stealing on that silly orb anyway. Good work. You saved us. For now, anyway. First things first. Return the Firebrand Orb back into the Dragon's Maw, where it belongs before its firelight dies out. What? So put it back in here where it already is? Okay. Cool. Excellent. You've earned your place amongst the Dragonhorn Order, Wizard. May I be the first to say, congratulations, Dragonhorn Disciple. You've already proved yourself a boon to us. Yeah, as if saving Dragonspire from Malister's reign of terror and the potential summoning of the Dragon Titan a second fucking time didn't already cement myself in that place. When the time comes, the Order will contact you in a 
mission. Until then, your first act of duty is to report the good news to your advocate. Yes, please let this be a main thing in Wallaroo. Oh, and tell Brandon to make haste with his Borealis dragon study. Rumors have reached us that the Digiri Dragon has resurfaced in Wallaroo. <laughs> Digiri Dragon. That's great. All right, let's look at this fucking hat. Ah, oh, damn it! It's this. It is the storm one, so it's gonna be differently colored. But I mean, that's still pretty cool. I would have liked the myth one. Can I paint this? Hold up. Let's fucking go. I can change the color of this. That's awesome. I think I'll do that for now. Maybe just all yellow. There's enough. There's enough white on there. Perfect. I can use that for a stitch if I ever bother to stitch. But anyway, let's uh, let's get back to the whole questing thing. Oh, hey. While well, I was going to go turn in the side quest, there's uh, what's his face from the dungeon. Shouldn't you be studying? What? You're already a disciple? Awesome! I knew you were special. Too bad it couldn't have been a little sooner, though. I just had a run-in with the Borealis Dragon. It was epic. That's really lame, King's Isle. Just have him say epic or something like that. That's, that's just cringeworthy. Anyway, congratulations. Let's talk dragons. What's that? The Didgery Dragon? Sweet! Hmm. Then I better finish up here so I can get to Wallaroo. But first, I have something I'd like to give you. What would you like to give me, Brandon? As your advocate, I want you to have this firebrand jewel. As you adventure throughout the spiral, hopefully in search of dragons, use it to call me your fellow dragonhorn disciple whenever you need you know it's crazy that they lock an item like this behind such a hard quest because at the time this would have been fucking impossible damn near impossible for a, like a regular person to get through but yeah uh we got uh myth brandon treasure card cannot shatter uh cannot sell i, I wish it would have like showed me the fucking card hold up That was the wrong one. Is it Y? It is Y. Myth Brandon. Cost five pips to summon, and I think he's got good stats. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get back to questing. All right, so back to questing. I just kind of did this off screen, beat the bully mongs or whatever the fuck they're called. So let's see. What do you have for me, oh, copy and pasted walrus antasket duchies? Duchess? Well, it all looks to be intact. Oh, with my penguin fur coat had gotten dirty, I don't know what I would do. That's pretty fucked up, considering the penguins are, like, unintentionally, uh, or they're just their subjects. She skins her subjects. Now, perhaps one of you could help my palanquin bearers carry me to this camp up the road. Are you there, Oski? You look strapping enough. Ooh. Ivan the Great does not like being bossed around, but he is gentleman. He will help carry you to camp. <laughs> I was like, hey, I don't, you're not gonna boss me around, but also I am a gentleman. You know, I might as well. Good on you. No, I almost forgot one of my most important accessories. My handmaiden, Chilly Lily. The bullies pushed her into that cave. Oh. I hate these fucking walruses. If I were home, I wouldn't bother. I mean, who doesn't have a spare handmaiden in the closet? Uh, but I simply must have her in Walruskberg. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go rescue a... handmaiden? Are you, dear? While this strapping Oski escorts me to camp, go see if you can do anything for little Lily. Cool, all right. Let's go save the day. Again. It's Come in here. This bohemoth is not very nice. No, not very nice at all. It's cold in here. So very cold. I asked politely, but this bohemoth won't let me leave. I wouldn't want that to happen to you. Mm-hmm. Well, I for one am not against the extinction of lower life forms, so let's fucking go. Uh I might want to put some cleanse <coughs> some cleanses in. <laughs> Maybe a pierce. May maybe appears. You know, I, I was just thinking about this. 
Shadow spells rely on certain likes and dislikes, right? Or these shadow fiends. Typically, the likes are blade up, sh uh, shield up, heal, or, you know, typically attacking, right? But if you're a balanced character and you just spam mana burn over and over and over again and just remove all of their pips, they can never hit you enough to, like, trigger their little dark fiend to go, you know, to the max that it could possibly go unless they were to just constantly blade and shit so like would that be a viable strategy for bosses who use these little shadow spells wait did i get plus oh that was minus 10 okay i don't know because like you know he got minus a like right there but what if he didn't have pips you know I don't know. I kind of want to experiment with balance and shadow spells at some point. Not that it would be super fun because it would take fucking forever, but it would be interesting to know how well that dynamic would play out. Nice. Ooh. That's interesting. What the fuck is that? Not that it really matters. Because I've got something with like six resist, don't I? Yeah. So th this is worthless for the most part. Oh, goodness. That was scary. So very scary. But you were so brave. Yes. Thank you for defeating that big, mean behemoth. Right. Your duchess needs you. I hear there are a lot of penguins there. It's exciting, isn't it? I can't wait. Nope, can't wait. Mm-hmm. That reminds me. Did you see the Duchess? Oh, she went to the ranger's camp up the road? That's good. Very good. I don't like talking to this person. She's kind of annoying. I don't know why, but I always seem to wind up getting bullied by someone. It's sad. So very sad. All it takes is one murder to change your life. I should hurry and catch up with the Duchess. She's probably getting impatient. So very impatient. I'll see you at the camp. Wasn't my job to rescue you and escort you back there? What the fuck is Ivan doing with me? He was supposed to uh, escort the Duchess back up the goddamn road. What are you doing, Ivan? Was he with me the entire time? I don't remember that. I fucking swear to God, Ivan better not be standing over here. Okay. So he helped her while I was walking into the dungeon, but then magically appeared in the dungeon? Question mark? Of all the nightmares, the rangers tell me there's been some kind of uprising in Warsburg. My cousin's been placed under house arrest. And if it's uh, canonical with, uh, or similarly canonical with actual history, she won't have a head for much longer. To skip. I wonder, you can't trust these penguins? Can you imagine the humiliation she must be suffering? <laughs> right. <laughs> we certainly can't visit Walrusburg now. We'll just have to return to Uzbekistan. I'll be a dear and tell Lily to get my luggage ready. No. Going back to Walzakistan? Oh dear, we'd have to pass through Orville Station again. There's something bad there. Very bad indeed. Yeah, probably the plot. Hold on, did Ivan hear correctly? There is trouble at Orville Station? Ivan has friends there. He does not like to hear this. Friends? What kind of friends, Ivan? I'm sure your friends are alright, Ivan. Well, I hope so. Maybe it will be like Walruskburg. Is it true the penguins have taken over? Uh, technically, yeah. There was little to no opposition aside from like one, two, three, four, like less than 10 fights. I can hardly believe it. Oh, I would very much like to visit, but I'd have to leave the Duchess. How would I support myself? Oh, dear. Uh, you can always get a fucking job. There is one thing, I suppose. I make good flapjacks. Yes, I sure do. Could I sell flapjacks and walrus? Food? See? Maybe if I had my pan. Look at her. An entrepreneur. I hate your fucking voice, but good on you. After we crossed the new Blago Bridge, the tundra trolls in the road demanded a toll. So the Duchess gave them my flapjack pan. 
She sure did. Wait, they accepted payment of a flapjack pan in order to, for you to cross the road? Out of everything she had, look at all those fucking suitcases. She got like three of them. I guess I'm out of luck. I surely am. Unless. Yeah, unless. You would go get my flapjack pan? Oh, wow. That would be great. So very great. You're not as innocent and stupid as you appear. All right. So f to get flapjack pan. Oh, this isn't the boss fight. This is just a regular mob fight. Let's fucking go. Fine, fine. Take the stupid flapjack pan. I don't know why she needs it, though. Penguins are supposed to eat crepes. Is nothing sacred anymore. Go! <laughs> that, that's kind of funny. Also gives me really... really big, uh... Napoleon vibes. Or what, what was that movie with the Napoleon guy? I don't know. Anyway, take your pan. Oh goodness, that's it, isn't it? My flapjack pan. I love my flapjack pan so much. Yes, I sure do. Oh Lily, it's time for us to depart. We've lost the wagon now, so you'll just have to carry the luggage. Who will carry your pan? Palanquin. 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 You'll have to excuse me, mistress, but I won't be going back with you. I'm going to stay here in Walrusburg. Yes, I surely am. There's no way Chili Lily does not have friends, families, acquaintances that won't get, be directly impacted by her choosing to leave. Putting them all at a safety risk of the Duchess uh, Wrath. This is highly romanticized. Oh, don't be silly. I need you to carry the luggage. I wish you the best of luck with that, mistress. I certainly do. I hope you have a safe journey. Very safe. All right, wizard. I guess this is goodbye. Or maybe I'll see you in the city. I'd like that. I like it very much. I wonder if she'll have a side quest that I won't do. I'm sorry if I've given your friend Ivan cause to worry. Maybe Maria has better news. You should speak with her. Oh, yeah. Progress the plot now. Also, look at that face. That is the face of somebody who is going to kill every single family member of hers just to get back at her for leaving the road is certainly safer ivan but the bridge is another matter altogether believe me i wish it was not the case it's a good thing i'm a wizard and can do wizard shit like fix a fucking bridge or defeat a troll and pull a lever you don't understand maria ivan and wizard must get through ivan must visit Irville station and wizard must find baba yaga Yes. Why was I finding Baba Yaga to begin with? Baba Yaga, you people are truly mad, aren't you? Listen, if you're determined, you'll just have to deal with Diomo, the bridge builder. Diomo and his tundra trolls like to tear down bridges. Then they build new ones and charge travelers a toll to get across. Uh-huh. I feel like... Um... There should be a royal army capable of stopping that, that blatant banditry. That's what they've done with the new Blago Bridge. If you want to cross, you'll have to get Diomo to raise the bridge. <laughs> Good luck. Can't believe I'm saying this, but if you make it across, look for my sister Zoya. She can point you in the direction of Baba Yaga's house. Cool. To the troll and the bridge. You know, this is a nice little shack, and their bridge is actually a lot nicer than you would expect trolls to be able to make. Here I sit trying to run a legitimate business, and everyone gives me trouble. I built this bridge! So what if I tore down the old one? Well, you see, you can't really claim to have a legitimate business if you're doing things illegally. No one gets across my bridge today. No one! If you've got a complaint, by all means, come a little closer. I dare you. Nice. Time to beat up this fucking troll. Let's get this over with. I think that kills him. Nice. All right. Aye, aye now. You made your point. I'll move on. Another day, another bridge. So it goes. Ah. 
nice, nice positive attitude right there, you little fucking troll bandit. There is lever. Pull that and it will lower bridge. Then we are on our way, comrade. No more delays. He says before we get behind, stuck behind another delay. Also, I love the fact that they just put the fucking levers anywhere. There's nothing over here other than the lever implies that there's a mechanical contraption on the bridge that should be over there. Now we cross bridge and look for Maria's sister, Zoya. Ivan has met her before. Zoya knows forlorn Taeg like back of her paw. She will guide you to Baba Yaga's house. Ivan must attend to other matters. I hope you understand, comrade. This was not Ivan's intent. Yeah, I understand. Go get him, my guy. We'll be reunited at some point, I think. You heard about trouble in Irville Station, yes? Ivan has history there. If penguins of Irville are in danger, he must go. Ivan's fucking the penguins. We will not part ways just yet, though. Let us find Zoya first. I, Ivan's definitely getting some some penguin up in there. Either that, or he just has like a really like platonic relationship with them, and hopefully that's cool. Also, I don't know why there's a pet vendor or a pet snack vendor, but they do sell like this guy, which I'm pretty sure was at one point supposed to be like a crown's pet or something. I don't remember. You're the first ones I've seen come across that bridge in some time. Does that mean someone taught Diomo a lesson? I feel Good. like you could have Glad just gone it. over that bridge. Or scaled the wall and gone over there. Ivan, it's been a while. What brings you out here? You have a delivery for the witch. Technically, yes, he's delivering me to the witch. In the matter of speaking, yes. <laughs> My comrade nice. here is wizard from Raven. And need your help to find Baba Yaga's house. Then this wizard is either very brave or very foolish. Baba Yaga. Matter does of not fact, I am both. Visitors, nor is her house easy to find. Are you aware of the risks you are taking, wizard? Very well then. I will help you, but don't say I didn't warn you. Sure, why not? Thank you, Zoya. And now, Ivan the Great must hurry to Urville Station. Goodbye for now, comrade. Irvel Station is that way. Luck. The rumors say Irvel Station has fallen on hard times. Ivan may be facing as much danger as you, my friend. So I should just let him deal with it and just take my time smelling the frost-covered roses. I understand. Baba Yaga's house is hidden deep in the thick boughs. Many souls have wandered into these woods and never returned. Sounds like he should have had a fucking map. The snow treants do not allow trespassers. <laughs> I suspect that is why the witch chose their forest for her home. Did she have to cut down some snow treants to make, you know, room for her plot of land? To find Baba Would Yaga, they be cool with you that? You must have the snow treants cooperation. You'll have to confront their leader, Snowbeard, in the cold clearing. Snowbeard. All right. And then Ivan just fades out of existence. Let's fucking go. All right. So I'm looking for a treant, I guess. In a forest of trees. Oh wait, never mind. My fucking uh quest arrow is just buggy as shit. God damn it. Kings, I'll fix your shit. Is there anywhere an old treant can go to rest on his roots? Who dares disturb the serenity of Snowbeard? You will suffer for it. Ooh, they updated the face of the treants. That's cool. His has like more wide eyes and like a more scarier face. I like that. That's pretty cool. This should kill, right? I have like four blades. Not quite. Oh wait, no, he I did kill him. Let's fucking go. I thought he had like 20k health. You've proven your metal, soft skin. Why do you trouble an old treant so? Baba Yaga. You wish to visit the witch? No, Merle Ambrose wishes for me to visit the witch. I'm just here on, you know, I'm just riding the adventure. Hmm. If you will meet me back out in the bows, I will show you why that is a problem. Will you show me why that is a problem, or will you show me a problem that you have that you need me to solve, and you're going to utilize my needs that you could easily supply me as leverage? 
Because those are two different things. Also, this is a very nice cave. I like this. You know, nice little walkway. Enough moving space if you needed to, like, bring a bed or how couch or, you know, building materials for a fucking house. That is amazing. But anyway, I wasn't supposed to go here because my quest error is messed up because Kings all don't know how to code their fucking game. Hold up. Let's try this. Boom. There we go. All right, Treebeard. I've accidentally walked a little bit further ahead due to uh, coding complications in, in a 2008 children's game, which that coding issue should have been solved long time ago. What's up? Baba Yaga lives behind here in the Veiled Vale. Yes. Miles blocked your path. Long ago, I could have bought them for you, but it is now forbidden. Oh, okay. How is it forbidden? Also, look at his little arms. He's got big arms and then small arms. It's like a a six-limbed thing, which is not natural or not common in nature for something to have six limbs. The pyromancer. Tony the Destroyer will burn down the entire forest if I part the boughs. He has a scorched earth charm, a vile thing. Right. If you are daring enough to enter the Destroyer's sunken tower and recover the charm, then I can part the boughs on your behalf. Sure. And how exactly is it that he's... Like, he says he'll burn the forest down. Why don't you just go stop him yourself? Because, I mean, the moment I walk into this, he should just be like, Oh, no, an intruder, burn it all down. Is that two chests? That's kind of weird. But, I mean, I got, like, 1,200 gold from that or some. That's pretty cool. <sighs> I knew they'd send someone. I told them scorched earth magic could be Tontaria's greatest defense, but they wouldn't listen. You know, with a look like that, I understand why they didn't. Also, I'm going to assume that, that that thing right there is the scorched earth charm. Now they see the truth, don't they? And they've sent you to steal my research. Never. I'll reduce it all to cinders. That's, that's not at all what's happening here, dude. I just came to ask if you would just chill the fuck out. And then he walks away. All right. Huh. He's got a like a little metal wall that he uses for exper like testing out his flames. That's kind of cool. I've killed the fire. Ooh, that's some good reagents right there. It's also double reagents. You persist. What is it that you want? My scorched earth charm. Snowbeard put you up to this, didn't he? Yeah, also look at all of that gasoline and gunpowder and just flammable shit. Jesus Christ, King's Isle. Somebody had a pyromantic episode making this. That old tree. I knew he'd try to pull something. Very well. I'll just incinerate him. After I incinerate mm. you first. Right. Actually, you should leave your minions to fight me while you go and incinerate tree beard like that would be an interesting little plot twist also this is gonna be a bit of a tough fight if i remember right either that or i was just like terrible maybe it's because i was ice and they keep throwing up shields that's yeah, the last time i played through this this fight damn near killed me i was at 2000 health like two rounds ago i don't know what the fuck happened but uh yeah no it's decided to blade up and throw out a feint do a little bit more blading up than usual. I, I can't remember how much health he has. I, I wasn't paying attention. It's probably... It, bosses are starting to get like 20k, so... This should do about 20k, I think. Perfect. Well, I mean, I'm tired of these snow trees, anyways. 
I'll find another forest to terrorize. Good on you. You know, good on having a positive outlook. Also, all of your research is stuff is still here, but also, you know, I feel like there are some serious health and safety issues everywhere. There's just so much fire next to so much flammable stuff like this gunpowder. This is, uh, I'm going to assume it's like jars full of like gasoline or something and then tankards of gasoline so maybe it's like a uh, kerosene or something what do you have here you know i feel like that fire is way too close to the to the little gas tank right there i feel like at any moment this place could just explode that'll make for a funny meme if i bo bother to do that all right snowbeard i have cleared out the fiery place that's somehow hidden in the middle of the forlorn taig. You have the scorched earth charm. Ah, thank you, soft skin. Finally, I can stop living in constant fear of fire. What are you gonna do with this? Next thing I know, I'm gonna come back and this is gonna start looking like the fucking Conda Desert. The other snow trains will be slow to understand, but you have saved us. And now I shall fulfill my end of our bargain. Right. There, the bowels are parted. You may enter the veiled veil. What? Proceed with caution, soft skin. The witch is far more fearsome than Detoli. I feel like you just... I feel like I could have just walked like 200 feet through this. permeates this part of the forest. It's as if all the wildlife... Or holding its breath. Uh huh. Well, ooh, who are you? It is Malori. Oh, hey there. I think maybe you took a wrong turn somewhere. You're either lost or you're some kind of crazy wanderer. Both. Definitely both. Where are you trying to get to? Wow, you're actually looking for the old witch? Sorry, that's just weird. Usually people try to avoid her. Rightfully so. Uh, hey, it's one of those other. It's that chick who was late into the the fight with the Dragonhorn Order. Let's go. Well, you found her house, all right, but the witch isn't home. She's probably in her garden. But I wouldn't disturb her. She's not very nice. Rude. And there's no way to talk to your about your benefactor like that. Like some of the snowmen around here, they're downright mean. Not all of them, of course, but I'd steer clear of the mean ones. Right. Which is uh. A prelude, uh, prelude to, hey, don't walk in the direction of the evil ones or just avoid them entirely. Anyways, not my place to tell you what to do. If you want to see the witch, it's your choice. Her garden is right down the path over there. Perfect. Let us see. Just me. All right. So I decided like a couple days ago that I was going to level up and then, you know, use my energy for something and... I just turned level 108 and I got a, a little quest thing from Baba Yaga to go get my level 108 spell or something. I can't remember uh, what it is exactly. Maybe it is the Baba Yaga spell. But yeah, I haven't even reached the Arcanum and I'm already getting those quests. Let's go. The statue garden is snow covered and silent. The witch is nowhere in sight. There are only snowmen as still as the statues that loom overhead. Yes, yes, there are. So she said some of them are nice and some of them are not. That one looks pretty upset. That one also looks pretty upset. I'm going to go left and see how that works out. Because if you walk directly in them, they'll just fucking pull you. Now, isn't this something? Do my eyes deceive me? Or has a wizard from Ravenwood wandered into my garden? That is exactly what has happened. You are not losing your eyesight, fortunately. This is not a wizard garden, though. It's a statue garden. And my statues don't take kindly to tourists. Neither do I. Rude. Alright, let's see. Um... Baba Yaga's cheats. Tardiness. Uh, cast positive warts as a shield. 
She may cheat cast shatter. Okay, so no no potentially no shields. That that would be wasteful. Uh at the third round she'll summon Frost Minotaur. Uh She doesn't have anything other than debuffs and maybe Earthquake. Honestly, I'd prefer to do this with other people. This is kind of... I mean, it's meant to be a hard fight, but I mean, I just enjoy complicated fights where I can help people. So I'm going to wait on this one. All right, finally, it's been like 30 minutes. Let's check out this fire person. Or this death person. 108 and hopefully max. So. Oh, that's perfect. Did they get pulled? Oh, man. That sucks. Uh, all right. We'll be back after this uh, fucking massacre round one. Let's go. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think these snowmen might uh, might drop couch potatoes. Hold up. I need to look at this. What were they called? Polarian Evil Snowmen. Evil Snowman. Oh, one of them survived. That fucking sucks. Never mind, they do not. I don't know why I thought these guys dropped couch potatoes. Dude, let's fucking go. A weapon cast? That's awesome. little rock cyclops or rock lops i forget what it's called nice i need to add shatters and pierces in into my deck what no just have the thing i'm just gonna like run in because i don't want them running in Statues don't take kindly to tourists, neither do I. Nice. Round one. Don't need that. I'll keep those. This is uh it's pretty good. I'm looking to see what they do. I'll show this fight. This is an interesting fight because it's it can be hard. She's doing that, so I'm just gonna throw this out there. None of us got turned into eggs, which is great. They finally Kings all finally finished the late tr cheats triggering like if somebody joins late but also in this the first round that was a big thing for like over a year which i'm happy they fixed that although going first same round when you enter the battle is just fucking fantastic anyway uh we don't need that i've got two of those yeah shit uh round three if he manages to kill her next round like she might not even be able to spawn the fucking minotaur how fucking sick would that be that would be amazing and then you got that person doing just kind of like whatever So we got two blades. It's going for four feints, basically. Um, that one, two, no, three feints. Never mind. If he hits, I'll use my feint. But if not, I'm gonna try and pull a TC feint, and I just wasted that. I didn't look at what he was gonna bring to the table. Oh. Fuck it, we're doing this. Is that an ice spell? It is death. Okay. I like all the different little statues. Most of them are myth, but there's a draconian... And, uh, was it Basilisk, uh, he Heckhound? Just a lot of cool statues. We honestly, King Cell should give us the ability to, like, get these statues or craft them or something. Like, most of these, yeah, you can kind of can. But some of these, you can't. 
Is that, please don't be an earthquake. Okay, it's just a stun. That's fine. If I had artists and socket wrenches, I could give myself like 10 to 15% stun immune just from jewels, but I don't have those yet. Yeah, I got nothing. This should definitely kill, though. Maybe not the Minotaur, but everything else. The old woman who is fucking crazy should die. Beautiful. You love to see it. I think we just barely killed the Minotaur, too. That blade was a good idea. You're more formidable than you look. Yes, I'm impressed. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. So, you want the old witch's counsel, do you? <laughs> I suppose I could stare a few minutes. Meet me back at my house and we can talk. Might not like what I have to say, though. <laughs> Might not. I love how she, she appears to be fucking crazy at, like, the very moment we meet her. But then she just kind of mellows out, and then she becomes, like, a really sad, upset old lady at the potential loss of her child later on in the storyline. Boom, we are inside. Look at... This, this house houses both of them. They both sleep, like, across from each other. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Well, now, here we are. I'd say welcome to my humble home. But as you already know, you're really not welcome. <laughs> Rude. This is my daughter, Malori. Malori, this young wizard came all the way from Ravenwood. We actually met outside. What? Don't look at me that way. I've been taught not to trust strangers. I tried to warn you, at least. Yeah, to, to be fair, that, that was kind of nice, I guess. Well, wizard, you've gone to all this trouble to find me. What do you want? Hmm. Yes. Bartleby sick, that is worrisome. Yeah, because apparently primordial trees don't get sick very often. Bartleby is ancient, older than the spiral, even older than the first world. Never heard of such a being falling ill, not in Polaris. Wait, isn't the Auroracle old like that? Didn't you say you saw troubling signs in the sky? You said you were worried about her. Her temple isn't too far. Maybe the wizard should go and check on her. Or maybe she would know something at least. Such a smart girl. Doesn't know when to be discreet, but smart. Yes, there were signs the Oracle is in distress. It might be related. Uh-huh. Is it, though? Like, statistically, what are the odds that these two things are related? Hmm, getting to the Sunless Shrine won't be easy, but that's your problem. <laughs> go out the back and Malori can show you which way to go. Nice. All right. And we get the little teleporter. I don't know if I have to activate this or not, but I'm going to. Just a casual array of teleporters that this man is not charging us to use. Let's go. Oh shit, there are actually a lot more teleporters than I expected. Um, I was supposed to... Why didn't it put port me in the house? Like, I know I'm not welcome, but fuck you. Listen, wizard, if you're going to see the Auroracle, I'm coming too. I've heard she can see the future, and I've got some questions. Sounds like a bad idea. Let's do it. The witch told me about the Auroracle, but refused to take me. I asked why, and she said, because I said so. I'm not satisfied with that. What? What about the old witch or is like, okay, never mind. That's a bad question to ask. I, I guess she does have some reason for concern, maybe. So this is the way. Once we get above the Up ice there. wall, supposedly we just follow the river straight to the Sunless Shrine. Let's go. Ooh, there are feet tracks. Nice. There's even more feet tracks over here. 
That's cool. I've never been on. I've never been in here. I didn't know this was a thing. So is that? Uh oh. What? I think that was the path to get above the icefall. Looks like there's been an avalanche. We'll have to find another way. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, check out that cave over there. Maybe there's someone in there who could help us. Worth checking, anyways. All right. So this was supposed to go up somehow. Anyway. Oh no! It's a yeti. It's gonna eat us. Run! Ha! <laughs> Look at that big foot. A bunch of X's and a question mark. Wait! Don't run! I'm a yeti, but I'm no monster. I was raised by a shoemaker in Marleybone. I'm a vegetarian. Honest. Fucking hipsters. Seriously, come on in. Warm yourself by my fire. I haven't talked to anyone in weeks. I'd enjoy the company. Hold up. Before I talk to you, I'm going to peruse your stuff. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got vegetables. Is that tomatoes, onions, carrots, soup? He likes to go hiking. He's looking for someone. Nice. All right. What, what's the... What is up, my fellow kid? There you go. It's cold out here. A good campfire is mandatory. Preparation is key on an expedition like this. I always come fully equipped. Right. So, what brings sophisticated folks like yourselves way out here? You need to get above the icefall? No worries. I totally got you covered. Is the icefall like the ice waterfall that's been frozen over? Or are you talking about the avalanche that we needed to go up? I got ropes and everything. Hey, though, maybe you could do me a favor first. I'm looking for another Yeti. I have been for my whole life. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I've heard there were sightings out here, and I've seen tracks. But turns out this Yeti's like totally elusive. Either that or it doesn't exist. Well, and it's probably feral if it does. This is a waste of time. The Ice Blight Elves know something, though. They tease me every time I go out. If you could get them to talk, That'd be so awesome. Yeah, let's beat up the people who are smaller than you. No, I keep pistoling.